all had a wonderful, wonderful week. Actually, a couple of weeks, because I haven't been on here for a little while. Um, this week, I am going to take you on a tour of the craft village where so is factors based so a lot of you will know already but this saturday the 14th of july we are holding the first ever big summer stitch up which is hopefully going to be the southeast biggest free to attend sewing meetup we're very very excited about it we've got loads of exciting things happening um so if you're watching this um, on Friday when I put this up you'll and you're coming along on Saturday you'll be able to see a little bit more about what to expect but also if you're watching this afterwards or you can't make it um, I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to show you around our beautiful beautiful little craft village and some of the other amazing businesses that are here with us because it's just such a lovely place and um, obviously I'm biased but I've never come across anywhere like Home Grange um, elsewhere and I would love to share it all with you. Um, you'll have to excuse me because my throat is even croakier than normal um, but hopefully it will last for the duration of this video. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. So um, I have shown you this one before and sorry guys I haven't got my tripod today because obviously I'm going to go and do a little tour around so um, I've placed you on a shelf in the shop. <laughs> but I am wearing the Avid Seamstress Day Dress pockets um, from a double gauze that we had in last year I haven't worn this for ages but we've been having a massive heat wave in the UK um, and I'd taken the zip out of the back to use in another dress quite a while ago um, and I'd forgotten to put a new zip back in it was really annoying me but actually I'll just show you I have taken the zip out completely folded over the seam allowance and then added a little button and a ribbon um, uh, loop at the top so it feels even cooler in this lovely hot weather that we're having so yeah really really love that but I'm not going to show you too much of the shop today because one um, there are a couple of videos on here already that show that and two we are literally I'm looking at piles and piles of fabric that have got to be sorted and put out ready for Saturday so I'm going to take you on a little tour downstairs and show you everything else that is here at the village so that you know um, what to expect if you're coming but also if you um, can visit us on any other day then you'll know who's here So this is Emma. Hi Emma. Uh, hi, and tell us about your beautiful shop. So this is um, a handmade craft company um, and we stock um, lots of quality handmade items from over 40 local crafters and we love to support the local crafters and artists um, and there's always something different you can find. It's fantastic. Amazing. It's like a little treasure trove of crafty goodies um, and everything is handmade and hand-picked um, by Emma. Emma chooses all of her crafters and sellers. There's always something new to find, isn't there, Emma? <laughs> and next door to you, Emma, is Enchanting Glass, which does amazing fused glass decorations and jewelry. Oh, uh -huh really beautiful and uh, Gail also teaches classes um, there's a class going on at the moment so I won't get in the way putting things in your kiln Gail uh, lots of things in the kiln at the moment Shona everyone um, learning glass fusing we are fused glass yep Yay. we are coming you like very busy bees. Yep, very quiet at the moment. Very quiet, concentrating. <laughs> oh, just my luck. Look at these beautiful, I've got some of these earrings. Look at those made. Mm. 
and look at these delicious cakes all handmade by the chocolate cafe we've got ice cream the busy busy bees keeping the cafe lovely so you can come and get some nibbles we do amazing food and we've got the lovely courtyard as well and in case you're ever trying to find us we are right by the cafe courtyard stairs which are freshly painted ready for saturday and we've got beyond the download which is a pinot and record shop they do loads of modern and uh original vinyls Some more shops down there i'll come down the other way a gorgeous florist this is daisy's den they do beautiful beautiful flowers and bouquets and uh, over here you've got the traditional should not even today we've got the traditional sweet cabin which is lots of traditional sweets Clothes Boutique, which is Lala's, it's lovely. We've got Antique Art, which is an art gallery. Really amazing arts and antiques. Give us a wave, Jeremy. Hi! Uh, and then we've got Quench, which is the Christian bookshop. Really lovely little shop. some picnic tables out here so if you um, want to bring a packed lunch with you or you want to sit somewhere differently from the cafe you can do look at our beautiful paddocks it's just such a lovely lovely place to be I'm gonna switch the camera around it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous place to work I'm so lucky to have my shop here to have all these other small independent businesses um, to share this amazing space with we've got loads of free parking let me just switch the camera back round so tons of free parking and there's more around the back as well oh who's this so we've got jewelers around the front who does bespoke pieces who if you watched my video before read my tape measure bangle that would be them So I think it might be with someone, in which case I won't film them, but they've just moved in here, so. <laughs> Poppy's making amazing jewellery, aren't you? Yes. Poppy made my bangle for me. Um, so Tom and the team, Tom and the team make bespoke jewellery. So if you had a particular ring that you wanted to be designed or you had, um, piece of jewellery you wanted made they can do that we've got three pals here and I'm coming around this from the wrong side but I said we've got loads of parking see we've got even more around here so shouldn't have any problem finding somewhere to park and it's all free uh, but yeah this is pottery pals they do pottery painting ceramic pottery painting I'll take you down here so many amazing businesses to find around here. So this is this little piggy which does gorgeous little children's clothes, see if we can have a peek inside. They do such cute little children's clothes. They are adorable, such a little treasure trove. If you've got little ones, come and visit this little piggy. Oh, so cute. Everything in here is really teeny tiny and the ladies are lovely. Uh, bye! <laughs> and then when we come out here, we've got our rear courtyard. So, again, you can have 
picnics or you can um, bring some food from the cafe upstairs there we've got our yoga studio got the gazebos um, which on Saturday we'll have our stands underneath and then when you come around here back into the rear car park as I say loads of space we've also got a beauty salon we've got Hello. hi we've got beauty revolution who are just tucked around here and they do loads of different beauty treatments nails, massage, facials, all sorts. And then when you come back in, we have got Absolutely Mintage, which is Julia's gorgeous shop. I wonder if Julia's in here. <laughs> she might actually be hiding, guys. Look at all these amazing Thanks, she does beautiful candles. There's Julia. Hi, Julia. Julia's hiding from us. She's and she, <laughs> she's sanding uh, because Julia paints and restores amazing vintage and antique furniture. She sells all these amazing chalk paints. Look at the floor. Isn't that the coolest floor ever? And all these gorgeous pieces. Da, da, da. So this is Julia. Hi Julia. Hi Shona, how are you? I'm good. And Julia owns this beautiful shop, Absolutely Mintage. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, I've been here for just coming up for a year. Um, I'm an official French chic furniture paint stockist Yay. and that's my love because I love upcycling furniture. And you upcycled this dresser, didn't you? I did, Amongst yeah. many other things. Yeah. And I um, try and source kind of quirky pieces of furniture, pieces of furniture that have been well made and that can be um, upcycled to live another day. And you find them from all over the place, don't you? All over the place we go, well, locally, down to Devon, um, France, we're just about to go out to France. Oh, which I'm really exciting! About. But um, space is going to be a bit of an issue there. Yes, where are we going to fit it all? But we've yeah. got loads of unique pieces, so it's worth it. You can find things here that you wouldn't find anywhere else. And look, I love these. I want to put these knobs on everything Let's in my house. There's just so many gorgeous things. You can come and hand pick this, the, the ceramic drawer knobs which are hand painted and made in the UK. And you can choose a piece of furniture, you can have it painted. Yeah. And oh, in terms of home accessories, um, again within the, the UK kind of theme, uh, we stock St. Evel candles and they are based in Cornwall and they are absolutely divine. And they smell gorgeous, you can smell them from here. Just like the English countryside. <laughs> they actually do smell like the English countryside, it's gorgeous. I have to show you our little resident chipmunks. These are pico and walnut and raisin. I don't know if they'll be out to come and say hello. Do you want to come and say hello chipmunks? Where are they? quite warm so they're probably tucked inside I think they are tucked inside um, and then this is the amazing hair salon we've got inside this gilded hair I'll take you inside and show you it's a new salon and it is amazing check out possibly the most amazing hair salon you've ever seen in my opinion it is very very cool look Joe, who owns it, has got amazing taste. That is uh, Liberty Strawberry Thief wallpaper up there. Oh, and look at that little cushion. You might recognise that. I think that was acquired from, oh, hi, from the studio upstairs. And look at this. Isn't this the funkiest, funkiest salon you've ever seen? And they're a Kevin Murphy salon, so everything is paraben free, sulfate free, really kind to the environment. Let me see if I can get in. Ta da! Yeah, really, really love this. Very cool, very funky, and super friendly. And we've got a couple of new shops opening up soon. So, Flicker and Flame, who are going to do candle making workshops. Um, and we've also got Berkshire Rugs, who sell. Turkish and Persian rugs and 
come back round in a loop. Um, it is glorious today. There's always loads of things happening in the village as well. So lots of workshops and parties and things that you can book on. We have a classic car meeting here on Sundays, a food market. Oh, what's that? That's us. Now I'm back in the shop. So hopefully that gave you an idea of some of the amazing um, businesses that we have here as well as satisfaction, some of the really cool things that you can see. Not everywhere is open today so I couldn't show you everything. Um, there is um, the sweet cabin as I say which sells uh, lovely traditional sweets. Also does a really good range of dairy free, gluten free sweets and lollies and things. Um, and we also have Brickies downstairs which is amazing. It is um, a Lego club for kids. It's really, really popular. You can come and do um, like Lego sessions and they do challenges. Um, I think they're like 90 minute sessions and you can book your children in and then you can leave them which is really popular um, and we also have needles and pins who do alterations so although we sell fabric and we teach the classes obviously we don't do any alterations or actual dressmaking for other people but fear not because uh, needles and pins do all of that as well um, and there is the candle making shop flicker and flame that are opening very soon and then there is also um, just out the front um, coming hopefully I think by the end of this month a dog grooming parlour which is going to be amazing I'm very excited and hoping that I can spend lots of time down there cuddling all the doggies but um, I don't know if I'll get time to do that <laughs> but yeah I hope that that gave you a little insight into what to expect everyone here is really friendly it's such it's got a really lovely community feel to it um, I mean it really comes alive in the summer and the weather is as glorious as it is there's so many places just sit and eat and chat with your friends um, please just check out the Homegrown Craft Village website which I'll also link down below um, because we're here all the time not just for the special event and um, you can come and see us and some of the other brilliant businesses here so yeah talk to you soon guys have a fabulous fabulous week bye